everybody. So we're all done. It's about 11:30. We're sawing it now with a soft cut saw. We like this one. It's the power. This is a really easy saw to use. It's pretty lightweight. One guy can pick it up if they want to. It cuts really fast too. It goes down about inch and a quarter, inch and a half. You can see my guy cutting right there. We just snap a chalk line, set it down, and off we go. On a garage like this, we usually cut in between the door and we cut down the middle the long way. And then uh, if we have any jogs in the floor, like this one right here, we'll cut off those jogs. We we'll even cut these little doorways off. See that? Floors always want to crack off those corners on those doorways so we get them all cut off. I uh, really like that saw. How he just eyes that chalk line, sets it down, and then off he goes. If you don't have one of these guys, I don't know how you're starting your boards, but if you don't have one of these yet, you know they're, they're a little over two grand, but they're well worth the money. Get all your floors sawed the same day, you don't have to go back. Hey everybody, Mike here with everythingaboutconcrete.com. So like I said, you know, we love this saw because it allows us to saw these control joints, these uh, contraction joints, these stress cuts, how, whatever you guys call them, it allows us to cut them in early and not have to wait or not have to come back to do it. So it saves us a bunch of time. And, you know, like I briefly said before, the saws not really i mean it's a lot of money yes but you make that money back so fast that the saw pays for itself so what about i mean is it really necessary to cut these lines i mean these lines are hopefully to help control just random cracks in the floor like this and what we find what happens is especially during the heat of the summer is the concrete dries so fast that it shrinks when it dries so if you don't cut these joints in, if you don't cut these saw cuts in early enough, you're going to get some cracks in this floor, sometimes overnight. So before you guys that cut the next day, maybe you've seen this, before you even get back the next day, sometimes you'll get a, a crack off a corner or something. And it's just because uh, the stress of the concrete trying to shrink and dry um, the stress of that on the concrete makes it crack. So we always cut saw cuts in all our floors, all our slabs, you know, a lot of our pool decks, sidewalks, patios. If we're not cutting hand grooves in them, we're, we're using this saw right here and cutting these stress cuts in them. And we, what I find is, you know, having done this for almost 40 years, I would say about 90% of the time this thing works. Occasionally, you'll get a crack that'll just show up right next to the saw joint. And for whatever reason, it makes you wonder, shake your head, go, what what the heck did it crack there for? It's got a saw cut right there. Some things, that it's just hard to explain. But 90% of the time, these, these work. You know, you'll come back a day later, a week later, and you can see where the, the floor or the slab has cracked right in the saw joint. So... For that reason, you know, we, we try to saw everything. Like on a house floor like this, this, this floor is going to be covered with something. It's going to have tile or hardwood or something over it. But it's still important to cut these in to control the cracks. You don't want to, you don't want to lay down tile on this and then have it crack later. And then your tile is going to crack. So 
we just do it and get it done and they don't have to worry about it. And you can see how early we do it. I mean, we just got done power troweling that piece there and it's hard. I mean, we, we shine that out. We call it when we get done, we call it, you know, the, the floor shined out. You could call it burnt out. I don't know what you guys call it, but when you guys are done, when you see a floor or a slab like this and it has starts at having that, that glassy look or that sheen to it, what do you guys call it? We, we normally call it is shined out. So now I'm onto a, we're onto a big house slab. And generally, you know, on a house slab, on a six inch slab like this, we'll try to put one down the middle the long way. This one's about 30 feet wide. So we're gonna cut it in half. And so we'll have two sections that are 15 feet wide. And now the long way like this, what I'm measuring out now is can I just put one down the middle that way or is the slab big enough where I need to put two or three? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I generally don't like making my squares on a 60, on a six inch thick slab much bigger than like 15 by 12, 15 by 10. So anything bigger than that, you may end up getting a crack inside that square. So. We're going to try to make them as close as we can, but not just have way too many. So as you can see, we're getting this laid out. We're trying to figure out the least amount of saw cuts we can put in this thing and hopefully still control all the cracks. Just in case, you know, if these people decide to leave the concrete floor as the finished floor, then we don't want a ton of saw cuts in there. They might stain it and seal it. They might polish it, you know. Sometimes we don't know that in advance. So we try to control all the cracks the best we can with the least amount of saw cuts. But this saw right here, you know, the the Prowler, the Husqvarna Prowler 150 is probably the most versatile saw that we've ever used. I've used a bunch of them. But this one, you know, when you have a brand new blade or even just a good blade, and then a really good skid plate on it. The saw cuts come out really nice and clean. It doesn't ravel the edges on them. And I mean the blades we use, I can put a link down in the description where I get my blades and also one for the saw too if you want to check that out. But the blades we use, we'll get probably a thousand lineal feet out of one blade. These are six inch blades that go on this. And a blade cost me around 55 bucks for a blade. And I get them shipped right to my house, so it doesn't cost anything for shipping. So, I mean, I, it's not really that expensive to saw cut, I don't think. But using this saw does save a lot of time, you know. How many of you guys come back the next day to saw? Let me know down in the comments, too. I mean, for us, some of the, some of the jobs we do are an hour or two hours away from the shop, so... We don't really want to be driving back the next day just to go saw something that, you know, it might take 30 minutes to saw. And it takes four hours out of the day to do that. So why not do it while you're already right there on the same day? Who has a saw like this? You know, if you're watching and you already have a saw like this, let me know down in the comments. And then if you've never used one of these, you can see how easy it is to use. It's really pretty easy. Let me know if you're thinking about getting one. That'd be interesting to know too. If, if there's anything else, any other information I can help you with, let me know down in the comments. I'll, I'll try to help you with that. We've had one for years and years, so we've had real good luck with it. So that's how we saw cut all our floors and slabs, guys. I mean, thanks for watching, and come back and check out the next video.